flu. I'm still getting over the flu, should I say. And it's now turned into just a awful cold. So I've kind of got the remnants of the flu, still very weak. Still, um, I've got pretty low stats, you know, building them up. And uh, yeah, I'm getting over it. So I have Pommy Rehab on Monday. I've had to miss a couple, which is an absolute bummer because you only do six weeks anyway. I'm hoping they might let me do another one, being I've missed a couple. But um, I'm sure there's other people waiting on the waiting list, so I may not be so lucky. I hope everybody's doing well and everyone's having a wonderfully blessed day today. Um, just a quick one to say hi, I am okay. And um, stay positive, keep your chin up, it's not bad. Life, it's just a bad day. <laughs> Keep them smiles up, it works. Got my dog here. This is Millie. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? We'll both say hi together. There we go. So, Millie and I are just chilling. Excuse the hat. It will definitely be a bad hair day, I'm sure. <laughs> She's looking after me. As you can see. And the girl is sitting over the top of me. Just what I need. Big heavy lump of a dog. But it's all big lump of love. <laughs> hey. Yeah. She's looking for something to play with. <laughs> She's like an old girl, but she's still a puppy in her head. I think we all are when we're still young in our heads, no matter how old we get. That's a good thing you should keep that spirit. I should definitely keep that spirit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the mend. I should be back in Pomeria by Monday. Hopefully another couple of days of just having a crappy cold and trying to get rid of it. Just re relax for a couple of days. Hopefully be back on track by Monday. I sure hope so. I've missed a lot of people not being able to get up for the last few weeks. And it's been a pretty lonely, boring few weeks because I haven't had anyone here to help me or look after me. So it's been a difficult few weeks, really difficult. I will be glad to get up again and uh, just have a comic. <laughs> Keep smiling. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm still in bed and I definitely feel better than yesterday. I feel like I've got more energy. Um, very wheezy today. Uh, my stats are up, so it's looking promising for tomorrow. That's my Ruby. Letting me know she can see someone or not see someone outside. I've had both of them on the bed with me this morning looking after me. So anyway, I'm just taking my morning meds and open the curtains. It's quite bright out. It's not sunny or anything. It's nice to have a bit of light in. Sorry, I'm still quite sleepy. Um, <laughs> Palmy rehab. We can do this. Fingers crossed, <laughs> positive thinking, and I'll be there, I'm sure. Maybe do some exercises later, just to get myself prepared, see if I can manage it. Fingers crossed and everything. I really, 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 really want to do it. I really want to chat with them and find out if I can do some more. Find out how I can go about doing some more. Millie's still at the end of the bed, looking after me. She's been quite poorly herself this morning. Bless her. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, this cold is absolutely... Uh. 
keep smiling guys it does pick you up so everything's brilliant it's stay positive guys it works hey guys how's everybody doing i hope everyone's having a wonderful afternoon i'm feeling a lot better than i did even this morning it's a big turnaround for me since yesterday. I've been progressively getting better over the last week. Even though I felt absolutely rotten all week. It's nothing on what I was like the last few weeks with this flu. Oh, it's absolutely took everything out of me. Energy, or energy I had left and, you know, how exhausting it can be from day to day just with normal, you know, just having CBD without anything else on top. It absolutely annihilated me. Um, I've been in bed literally for the last three weeks. I just haven't been able to do anything. I've also been stuck on my own with no help and, you know, due to unforeseen circumstances. But uh, yeah, what a few weeks. It's been a real, uh, real hard one for me. So, you know, it's taken, it's taken its toll on me. And it's really unfortunately come at the wrong time. I've waited all these months for pulmonary rehab for it all to happen during that time when you only get six weeks at it anyway. And even though it's twice a week, you're only doing the exercises once a week because the rest of it's the talks and such, which I've done so many times over the years. You know, as much as I wanted to do all of it, luckily I did, no matter how bad I felt, I crawled in even for the exercises. You know, I wasn't gonna up you know i was taking random um covid tests all the time just in case it's so scary but you have to remain positive you have to stick with that you know it's the it's the only way you know it works but yeah feeling a lot better this afternoon much much better this afternoon i'm really gonna have um Hopefully, I know I'm gonna have no, I am gonna have a good day tomorrow. So yeah, it's been a big turnaround. So I'm pleased to say, feeling a lot better. Now I've got someone here looking after me and you know, I've actually had something to eat properly and you know, haven't had to worry about a lot of stuff. Because the stress and the worry become a big deal, don't they? Like not being able to get out to my dogs downstairs, not being able to let them out, not being able to feed them on time and such. You know, just the small things that other people go, oh, don't worry, if you can't do it, you can't do it. It's not the point, you know, you stress about them because it's as relevant to you as something is to someone else. And those things are relevant to me and they do stress me out. So, you know, you can be positive as you like, but there's still going to be things that you know, worry you and, and, and stress you that make your illness worse. So it's, it's learning how to cope with those in these situations and making sure that you don't get left on your own, which is a situation that's just happened to me, which shouldn't have happened. You know, someone else should have been put in place. It's all my responsibility to make sure I'm okay. But the reason you get people involved is because of the things that go wrong, like your memory, you know, not remembering things, medications and appointments and such ordering oxygens and, and things like that which you know don't happen if you haven't got someone in place doing it and if they're just suddenly not there then they need to make sure that they make sure someone else is doing it you know not just take it for granted that someone's going to do it these are the things that we need to like make sure don't happen again it's a learning curve but I am very ill that sort of thing can kill me you know if things go wrong for me we can all learn for, from it if something goes fabulously right for me, we can all learn from it. You know, so that's what this is all about. You know, it's interesting to see whether any of you guys have had the same sort of things happen to you and how you dealt with it, and we can all help each other. You know, that's the aim, aim of it, and to be positive and to keep each other positive, because positivity is, is one of the biggest things, and the biggest impacts it can have on um, physical and mental health. Right now, I'm just happy that I'm out and about. I just wanted to come for a quick drive and get a bit of fresh air because I haven't been out for so many weeks and feeling a bit lousy. 
you know other than sort of going to Pommy Rehab I don't think I've even been out in a few weeks so it's been nice just to get for a quick drive even though it was just around the village to make a video to say hi <laughs> again <laughs> but yeah I look for I'm looking forward to getting back and getting my videos sorted again and getting myself back on track unfortunately you know I can't promise anything these days because we all know it's COPD we don't always know how we're going to be from one day to the next but you know let's let's remain positive <laughs> so anyway yeah of always is the bumpiest bit of road oh it's the worst bit of road coming up to my <laughs> so yeah from me catching a breath <laughs> take care of yourselves and each other and most of all, don't forget, stay positive, guys. You know it makes sense and you know it works. Okay, bye. <laughs>